what was the effect of the radiation released on another group? Not those working at the site or helping with the cleanup, but the general population living here. Galina Chaika was among those living in Pripyat at the time of the Chernobyl accident. Today, she's returning to her home for the first time in 25 years. Here is our entrance. And here is the door. Now everything is broken, nothing is left. Oh, my flat, meet me 25 years after. When the accident happened, Galina and her children were there to witness it. We went out and watched it, how the reactor was burning like Bengal fires. And kids climbed the roofs and watched it, until somebody said it was dangerous and made us stay inside. They weren't evacuated for another two days, and Galina believes that the accident's impact began soon after. Soon after the accident, I started to have headaches, terrible headaches. I got high blood pressure, heart problems. My stomach started to hurt because of all the nerves, and maybe I've got some sort of radiation. It's a situation that constantly occupies her mind. Now I mostly live in fear of poor health, disease, illnesses, death. You live in fear every day that today you are alive and tomorrow you get ill. This is the everyday fear. Galina is not alone. Many more people share the same fears. But it's difficult, scientifically, to show a link between any one person's illness and their exposure to radiation. But 20 years after the accident, a large-scale international project, the Chernobyl Forum, set out to understand the impact of the release of this radiation. I've come to meet Professor Mykola Tronko, who's in charge of the Institute of Endocrinology here in the Ukraine. Initially, many doctors expected Chernobyl to cause different types of cancer in hundreds of thousands of people. But what actually happened was very different. Starting from 1990, we saw the increase of thyroid cancer incidence among children. I must say that it certainly caused a big discussion in the scientific world. Despite this wave of cases of thyroid cancer, there were no confirmed increases in any other type of cancer in the general population. <laughs> 